morning date. Welcome to another edition of Morning Date, when we get to meet amazing figures from all walks of life. And today is no exception. I have the incredible pleasure of sitting down with a YouTube sensation, and it's Korean Billy. Welcome, Mr. Kong Sung Jae. Hello. Billy. 안녕하세요. <laughs> 안녕하세요. Hello. Thank you very much for having me. It's wonderful to finally get to see you in person. What do you prefer being called, Billy or uh, Kong Sung Jae? Well, <laughs> Billy would be more friendly, I think. Okay. Yep. So we'll go with Billy then. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, I have tons of questions to ask you. Right. But this isn't your first time on the show, is it? Right. Um, by popular demand, you are back and our fans, our listeners have really been looking forward to having you back here. So oh, it's my pleasure. Yes, thank you so much for making the time to come here. Well, before we start our much anticipated conversation, let's give our listeners another quiz. Right. And this is related to what you're really good at, British English. Okay. So in American English, people would say, and let me try my American accent. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting in line. Impressive. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Well, what do they say in the UK? Uh, in the UK, people say, I am queuing. Okay. Now, what would be the UK equivalent to, we went to a fancy restaurant? Is it number one, we went to a porky restaurant? Number two, we went to a rugby restaurant, or is it number three? We went to a posh restaurant. 영국 영어하고 미국 영어에는 여러 다른 단어들이 있어요. 그래서 앞서 말씀드린 예는 줄을 서다. 미국에서는 정말 wait in line, 말 그대로 줄에 서서 기다리다 라고 하는데 영국에서는 queue 하다 이런 표현을 써요. 그리고 철자는 어, 정말 의외의 철자입니다. 발음은 이렇게 그냥 Q 이렇게 하지만 mm -hmm. Q U E U E 여기서 이제 Qing 하면 Q U E U I N G 너무 어려워요 스펠링이 right. <웃음> 발음은 쉬운데 네 그래서 질문의 뜻이 좀 이제 고급스럽고 좀 호화스러운 그런 레스토랑에 우리가 갔다를 영국에서는 어떻게 표현하나요? 1, 2, 3번 보기 주시죠. Okay, number one, we went to a porky restaurant. Number two, we went to a rugby restaurant. Or number three, we went to a posh restaurant. 네, 짧은 문자는 50원, 긴 문자는 100원. 샵 1045로 보내주시고요. 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스 이용도 가능합니다. So, Billy, yeah. for those of our listeners who have, for some reason, never heard of you before, I don't okay. think there are many, but <laughs> just for some of them, can you briefly introduce yourself? To okay, us? so my Korean name is Gong Song Jae, mm -hmm. but I'm more known as Korean Billy. Mm -hmm. And I would say I'm a full-time YouTuber, as well as I'm a big fan of everything about Britishness. Right. Uh, and I make videos about uh, different kinds of British accents or British dialects and just general British culture. Mm. And how did you end up, you know, getting this interest in the UK? Did you live there? Did you travel there? Well, I have been interested in like British culture for a long time since I was a high school student. And last time, like the first time I went to the UK was about uh, three years ago, I believe. That's yeah. it? Yeah, three years ago. Oh, wow. and that was when I went there as an exchange student. Ah, 교환학생으로 3년 전에 처음으로 영국에 가셨군요. Right. 저는 하도 그 영국 사투리를 너무 잘하셔서 mm -hmm. 거기서 뭐 오랫동안 사신 걸로 생각했는데 uh. 아, 역시 머리가 좋으시군요. Oh, 짧은 no. 시간 안에 <laughs> 이것저것 다 이렇게 습득을 하셨어요. How was that experience living in the UK as an exchange student? Well, it was like much better than I expected, actually. Well, because I have been into British culture, I just looked up everything about British mm. culture and about just the UK. But when I actually went there, I think just experiencing, you know, by myself and actually going there and experiencing it would be the best. So when I went there, it was much better than I expected. But the thing was, but the thing is, I actually went to Northern England. Ah, so I which was, part? 
Uh, it was called Lancashire. Yes, I yeah, know. It's about Lancashire think, hot pot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 네, 그런 요리가 있어요. Lancashire hot pot라고 하는데 맛있어요. 그 지역에 가셨군요. Right. It's about yes. I think uh, three hours away from London by right. train. I think. So it was just in the north. So I was so surprised by northern accents. Like people mm. like spoken British English in a different way, totally different way. Right. So it was really like confusing for me at mm-hmm. first, but on the other hand, it was really interesting to me. Right. So it exactly. was confusing and interesting. So I could have lots of experience there. And I think you're also very open-minded and linguistically talented. So all mm-hmm. of that combined was probably a wonderful um, combination for that experience. Right. Kind of inspired me. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, so tell us, you know, if you were always this gifted with languages, I don't 항상 know. 이렇게 언어를 잘하셨나요? Well, just English itself. I have been interested in English since I was very young. So, oh. like when I was like five or six, I was just so f- I just found English. I just found foreign languages so interesting because. Oh, wow. You know, people use different alphabets and different words. That fact was Mm. really interesting to me. So every time I saw just foreigners or Westerners on the road, I just went, you know, approached them and just said hello and just ran away, (laughs) making them embarrassed or (laughs) confused. So I've been really interested in foreign languages for a Mm. long time, but particularly for British English, uh, I just fell in love with British culture when I was a high school student. Oh, okay. So I started to just learn British English and British culture since then. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm that gifted, but I just really enjoy just learning it, just finding out new, you know, facts about languages. So mm-hmm. I think that makes me quite, you know, fluent in that language. Right. And nothing beats an enthusiastic learner. Right. It's, it's better than just being determined and being bored. Right, <laughs> right. Uh, you know, there's a saying, if you are really enjoying something, mm-hmm. then you have no competitors. You know, right. you, you're really at the top of your game. And that, I think that's what you are, because yeah. you like it, you enjoy it. Right. So, 좋아하니까 잘하시는 것 같아요. 뭐 여러 가지 공부 잘하는 비법, 뭐 언어 잘하는 비법 다 있을 수 있지만 mm-hmm. 어, 빌리 님이 말씀하신 게 이게 정말 중요한 거죠. Right. 좋아하는 거. Just concentrating right. on just myself, exactly. my interest. Just don't care about other people. Right. Mm-hmm. Can you do any Korean dialects? 한국 사투리도 혹시 하세요? Right. I'm actually from Busan. You are? Yeah, wow. so when I, you know, talk to my family, I speak in Busan Saturi. Can like, you, can you do a little bit for us? Like, uh, 강아리 가서 회한 사발 묵가. 잘 아인데, 소외라이 That's so funny because yeah. you have this British accent and then you, you can immediately <laughs> switch on your Busan accent as right. well. So, wonderful. Um, but how did you start to put all of these experiences onto your YouTube channel? How did that come about? Well, I, as I said, I went to the UK as an exchange exchange student three years ago. Mm-hmm. And after coming back from the UK, I just graduated from university in Korea. And right after graduation, I just wanted to make my YouTube channel. So, I know, while thinking of, you know, some ideas like what to make, mm-hmm. which video topics I choose, I was just reminded of my experience in the UK. And that, you know, confusing moment right. about, you know, hearing British dialects and British accents, that that was kind of like, I was like kind of like reminded of that. Exactly. So I just thought it would be also interesting for other people to talk about British dialects and British accents. So that's how I started to make, you know, videos about British dialects. Also, I think it shows that you're technically um, much more adept to these things than myself. And mm-hmm. this is what I think sets you and me apart, because I would never think of making a YouTube channel because I don't even know how to begin making a video. Uh-huh. Um, but for you, I suppose, and a lot of people these days, um, it's just common sense. It's quite easy, I heard. Mm-hmm. And as long as you have good content, which you do, right. then you can be quite successful. Mm-hmm. Um, now, of course, pronunciation and differentiating between dialects, um, that, that whole concept, mm-hmm. uh, did you come up with it or did someone say that would be a good idea or where did you get the idea, you know, to make a channel about different accents? Right. So 
you know, right after I opened my YouTube channel, I didn't actually make videos about British accents. Oh, you didn't? Right. So I just tried different topics. And I don't know. I, as I said, I was just reminded of my experience, my time in the UK.、Mm. And because I found it really interesting, I just thought, you know, other people would find it interesting as well. So I asked my British mates about, you know, British dialects because、mm-hmm. they are native speakers、right. of British dialects.、Mm-hmm. So I, you know, asked some Northerners、mm-hmm. in England if, you know, they use different words or dialects. And I did some research and I practiced my accent. It's like,、right. you know, practicing acting, actually. Right. So I, it, you know, at first it took such a long time,、mm. but, you know, my first video just came out like that. And Fortunately, it went well, so、right. that's how I started. I see. It's quite interesting that you mentioned acting. Yongi Hanan Gotaram, the Yongo Yongo Randa Rago by Smash and the Right. Oh, yeah, King Jangi Sashiran Jungyo Han concept, Kenyamia, when you're men, w e g u g o b e l t e Um, Bukuro Hago Suksoro h a s i n u n d i Banayo. So I can just show the Kuge Hago, or you can hear ten and deck, and Hago. 그다음에이제억양도높이고내리고해야되는데안하고、right. <웃음> 아너무쑥스러워요 <웃음> 이렇게하면서영어를접근하시면은한계가있는데내가연기자다 <웃음> 내가、right. 이제는어나는뭐영국의음뭐백인누구처럼그런새로운인격체를가지고、right. 영어를배우겠다이런마음을가지면은훨씬좀대범하게과감하게배울수있지않을까싶어요、right. We have to be a like, different person, yeah, different character. Yeah, and you become different people when you speak a different language.、Mm-hmm. I'm a completely different person when I speak English and when I speak Korean. Me too. I think、yeah. it's, it's like you know, having different egos、exactly. for each language.、Yeah. So I also like, sometimes I try to speak in Japanese as well.、Mm-hmm. Uh, when I speak in Japanese, I just become so humble. Right. And so polite. 네이거는사실은이미학자들이입증을한건데、mm-hmm. 그언어에맞게그문화나제스처나그런거에맞게변하게돼요그언어를잘하게되면、mm-hmm. 그래서지금말씀하신것처럼일어를하면은많은사람들이일어잘하는사람들은갑자기이제뭐이렇게하이 <웃음> 그런거있잖아요스카스카스뭐이런거하시더라고요근데이제한국어그렇게안하잖아요그래요막이렇게안하잖아요 <웃음> 그러니까그언어에맞게영어를할때는또영어에맞는제스처와뭐,뭐손동작아니면은뭐몸동작이런걸다같이하면더자신감도생기고That advice? Well, it's quite hard to pick one,、mm-hmm. but I think the most important thing is、uh, you know, when I was a student,、mm-hmm. I just tried to change everything from Korean into English, even though I'm living in Korea.、Uh-huh. So I just started from where I was. So, you know, we are now in the radio station, and there are、right. lots of like objects. And lots of like, ideas and things、mm-hmm. we can think of in Korean right away, but we can change it into English and see the world in a you know, British way or English way. And for listeners, if you are listening to this radio at home,、mm-hmm. you can just change, you can label everything Korean. You know,、uh-huh. into English.、Mm-hmm. So I think that would really help me. And that would also help me to change myself into a different person, you know, acting as if I'm now living in, you know, London and now having my British lifestyle or American、right. lifestyle. That would really help me to concentrate on learning that language. <laughs> 네그우리가조금전에얘기했던내용이네요、mm-hmm. 그러니까딱한가지만꼽자면은언어를잘배울수있는팁이바로모든것을그언어와관련된상황으로받아들이고행동하고연기하고해라뭐이런말씀이신것같아요음,음쉽지는않지만 right. <웃음> 네